Hello and welcome to the WNBA on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Phoenix Mercury going up against the Las Vegas Aces. Joined by Brian Benefitemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we are so glad you joined us tonight. And Brian, with the physical demands of the game, it's hard to imagine anyone ever feels 100% healthy. Yeah, there are so many nights you just have to gut it out. You know, the aches and the pains, they, they just linger. So you don't really have time to recover during the grueling season. But you're paid to play games, so you have to see them. And it's just unreal how much these athletes play through. How many put off the surgery until the off season? Remember that during this game, I bet you almost no one is operating at 100%. It's really just part of the game. It can be so deflating to miss a wide open look like that. Pass to Griner. Unloads. Good on the short little jump shot. Reads the defense so well. It's really what makes Diggin Smith the top notch point guard she is. Here's McCaffrey. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Here's Diggin Smith. Pass to Coffey. Now here's Griner. Covered by McCautry. For three, Diana Taurasi. A rebound by Swords. Now the Aces with it. Here's Allen. Inside. Swords can't hit. That's a surprise. Out of character for her to miss those when the D's not right in her face. To the middle. Turner with the bucket. Flexing her physical attributes to complete the basket through contact. That's a heads-up play from Turner. To the left wing. Pass to Allen. Wilson. No one on her, and she makes him pay. Well, you just can't give her that kind of position in the post. When she gets in that good of a position, it's just so hard to stop her. Now, here's Griner. Back to Diggin Smith. To Rossi. McBride covering. Just five on the clock. And stolen by Kayla McBride. Banked in off the glass. Excelling at relentless drives to the rim. It's McBride's aggressiveness that is really always in demand if you're a coach in this league. Now here's Tarasi. Shot clock at six. Pass to Coffey. Over McCautry. That one a little long. Well, she rushed that one, but he was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. And Allen gets it to go. A focal point of opposing game plans. McCautry just wants to find the open teammate. She's a willing distributor. Now here's Diggin Smith. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Nice play on D. Got that hand in her face. And it prevented an easy look. Exactly. She was alert and aware. And really just reacted quickly to that shot. And you think of intense competitors? Kayla's got to be one of the first mentioned. So much passion for the game. She's one of the league's hardest workers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And thinking of Kayla McBride, her will to win translates well to the offensive end. Yeah, there's not a defender in this league that she's afraid to go up against. And Kayla just likes to keep defenders guessing as she can score in a variety of ways. That one is no good. Selected third overall in the 2014 WNBA draft. McBride's stats and all-star selections pretty much justify where she was picked. Here's Allen. Pass to Swords. Another shot. Mercury with the rebound. Outside, Diggin Smith. Shot to end the cold run. The shot, no good. And Las Vegas the other way now. Right outside. Her second 
Second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. This has been a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring from the paint. You know, really, that's why they're on this run. You get that, that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to drop shots in. Pass to Diggins Smith. Shot from free throw range. Jump shot is good that time. Effectively scans the defense. Diggins Smith puts her high basketball IQ to good use. Cotri, left side. Turner grabs the board. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. Outside, Diggins Smith. Down low, Coffey. Great D that time from Carolyn Swords. The ace is leading. Here's Allen. Excellent D there from Brittany Griner. To the inside, Turner. A good finish at the rack off the slick speed. Constantly looking for the open teammate. And really, that's one of the many reasons why players love having Tarasi on their team. Now here's Wilson. Stolen away. And a fast break now for the Mercury. And the basket by Tarasi. That part of the floor is more or less her comfort zone. Timeout called the Aces. And guys, the league seems to be playing at a faster pace nowadays. Will there come a time when every team plays up tempo? Well, I think every team plays up tempo in some sense during games. I just don't see every team making that their main offensive philosophy. Agreed, Tim, which is rare, but the up tempo style is great. You have shooters that can capitalize on open books, but so many teams in the league still have quality bigs that can do damage in slower pace half court sets. with the ball. Pass to Wilson. Hey, yo, right here. Outside Robinson. Six on the shot clock. Right here. Fires from the line. Wilson. It's good on the putback. Rebounds well and, and has a knack for converting offensive rebounds into points. Wilson is electric. Reiner with the ball. Robinson covering. Here's Hartley. Robinson grabs the miss. That's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always so important to have that strong interior defense. It's stolen by Griner. Here's Smith. Hamby grabs the miss. Outside Robinson. Pass to Young. She's guarded by Griner. Just four to shoot. Outside Robinson. Misses the tray. The Mercury trail. Here's Cunningham. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Hartley shot is off. Here's Las Vegas. Here's Young. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. You sit back and enjoy the poise from Young. Maybe not the highest percentage shot with the contact, but she still sinks it. Pass to Griner. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Next. And this is her first free throw of the game. And 
time that one misses. Okay, let's take a look here tonight at Asia Wilson. Now, she was the first overall pick for the Aces back in 2018. And, you know, she was actually the first pick ever for this franchise's iteration in Las Vegas. And she's good on the second. And for Wilson, the 2018 Rookie of the Year, she is clearly the future of this team. And you know, Blake, she's not the tallest center in the league. Wilson's only 6'4", but she is as smooth as it gets in the post on both ends of the floor. Great footwork and a fantastic sense of the game. Now here's Hartley. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. That one wide left. Well, you have to like the work in the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. Kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. Oh, fantastic pass. She made that a very easy bucket with the setup. Now here's Hartley. Goes up at the elbow. Hamby grabs the miss. That's one she knows she should have drained. Pass to Young. To the paint. Wilson. It could go. Oh, she just knocked out the buzzer beater. Wow. What a three at the horn. They end the quarter on a high note. I'll say that'll give them a nice little lift to start the next quarter. Yeah, let's see how it works out for them. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. The ace is on top, up by nine. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move into the second. And uh, guys, what's your take on the aces so far? Not much room to operate on this one. A very tough D through one. You know, they haven't given up a lot of easy chances at all. And here are the aces now. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, nine. Double team on Asia Wilson. That one goes in. Breathing life into the league since the day she was drafted. Wilson brings passion and intensity every night. Now here's Griner. It's stolen by Robinson. Pass to Young. Shoots from the baseline. And again, it's Las Vegas. Here is Hartley. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Clock at six. Here's Vaughn. Yes, and it's Bria Hartley picking up the assist. Yeah, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look. Outside Robinson. Here's the floater. And the basket by Hamby. They've been the hotter team in the first half so far, guys. Well, they've been grinding, working for those high percentage shots, and it's been paying off for them. Now let's see if this uh, success continues to go as we get longer into this game. Hartley. And that one hits back iron. No getting around the fact that that's a shot she has to knock down. Here's Robinson. And it's blocked by Brittany Griner. Length and vertical jumping ability pay monster dividends for Griner as a rim protector. Walker Kimbrough. Pass to Hartley. Shoots over Young. Hartley's shot is off. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that one. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. Her position might be guard and primarily point guard, but Young can score inside. She's six feet, tough, and quite crafty. Now, here's Griner. Hartley outside. 16 feet out, and that one drops for her. Got that one off right in the face of a bigger defender. Nice, quick fire release. Well, the mid-range shot time really out. her only choice right there. She would have a tougher time taking it inside against uh, such a bigger player. And the Aces call time here. And thinking back to the best draft classes in WNBA history, 
Any particular ones come to mind? Well, I remember the 2002 WNBA draft pretty well. And an interesting note about the first five picks in that draft, all of them went on to make at least one all-star team. That's pretty cool. Nice pull, Brian. But I can top that. Remember the 2009 WNBA draft? The first six drafters all made at least one all-star appearance. What a loaded draft class. second quarter with just about three minutes gone by. Pass the swords. And here's McBride, guarded by Diggins Smith. Offensive rebound, and the shot goes down. So many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle, and that's how true in this one, Tim. Yeah, Brian, their effort on the glass, it has given them the advantage. It's made a difference without question. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Down to five on the shot clock. This one for three. The shot comes out. The aces go the other way with it. On the wing, Sugar Rogers. Pass to Swords. Back to Rogers. Here's McCautry. Here's McBride. She's covered by Tarasi. For three, Kayla McBride. And the ball out, out of play, bounds. the Mercury will have it. That is such a careless pass. you got to keep your head in the game. A difficult situation for Phoenix. Rossi outside. Here's Coffey. To the right side. Here's Diggins Smith. And a rebound by Swords. Well, I mean, to me at least, Brian, it looked like it was going to be an easy two points there. You're right, Tim, and she's got some angry words for herself after that miss. Now here is McCautry. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Showing good confidence as a scorer, McCautry has a polished mid-range game, and she's still getting better. Diggins Smith with it. Rogers defending. A nice shot by Diggins Smith. Well, look, that's just simply a great move. She dusted off the defense and got to the cup for the easy basket. On the wing, Angel McCautry. Pass to McBride. From the strike. Here's Swords. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. It's going to go on Brittany Griner. Shooting for your Las Vegas Aces. Carolyn Swords. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And so she hits both. And if they're going to make a run, there's no time like the present. Well, we certainly expected a better game than this. It really has not been a pretty picture. Here's Cunningham. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Five to shoot. And so she draws the foul on the shot. That trip to the line to shoot two. No active player has more free throw attempts, more makes than Tarasi at the free throw line. It's a key part of her game. She's getting her first free throw attempts of the night. Good. 
as loyal as they come. Tarasi is in rare air with three WNBA championships, all with the same franchise. Good on the second free throw. Here's McCautry. Ride. She's off on that one. And it's Phoenix the other way. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, oh. it really hasn't affected the team that much. What a play in attack mode to get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. First one falls for her. And so she makes both from the line. They're really battling, guys, not sitting back, attacking when they have the chance. And I like their approach, playing aggressively and forcing the officials to make a call. Now here's McCautry. Here's Allen. Her first trip to the line. Lindsay Allen. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. So she's able to get one of two. They've changed their game here in the second, getting a little more physical. And look for them to increase this lead if they keep getting to the line. Pass to Tarasi. Victor Pocket. Here's Allen. Well, another foul will give her three before the half. That's something to keep an eye on. This is her first opportunity at the line this evening. Two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And that's good as she hits both shots. Diggin Smith with it. Cunningham. Defended by Swords. Now here's Tarasi. He's guarded closely. Yep, that one goes. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. Easy bucket in the paint. The interior defense at that end has been lifeless, to say the least. Now here's Hamby. She's got nine. 
Six to shoot. Here's Allen, guarded by Diggins Smith. Allen's shot is off. Pass to Tarasi. She made that one. Basket number three for her, and she's also missed. You know, not a great start for her in the first, but she's quickly turning that around. Well, guys, it's all the rage to have the GOAT debate in every sport. If you're having one about the WNBA, when it's basketball, you start with Diana Taurasi, all-time leader in points, three-pointers. She has done it all. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. That's right. Five of their last six makes were in tight. They've established themselves inside. Where's the team? Beyond the numbers, Tim mentioned, Tarasi puts her stamp on every game she plays, Brian. Yeah, Blake, even into her late 30s, most nights, Tarasi is the best player on the floor. And to me, it's her passing that separates her from other all-timers as well. You know, she didn't make it to the line in that entire first quarter, but she is showing some aggressiveness here. Now here's Hartley. That's tipped. They tie it up, and it's a jump ball. You too. And it's the Mercury with the ball. Pass to Cunningham. Here's Smith. Five on the clock. Here's Turner. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Backed by her solid footwork, Turner knows a thing or two about scoring inside. Here's Robinson. The shot is good. It's her second bucket in five tries. That's incredibly poor defensive awareness. She's one player you don't want to give up any space to. Pass to Smith. Here's Vaughn. She's covered by Hamby. Here's Vaughn. From deep, hits it from three-point range. You know, they dug themselves in a hole in the first quarter, but they're starting to shoot it much better now. You know, sometimes it takes a little while to work out the kinks, and they're starting to put it together like a puzzle right now. And so we wrap up the first half. Aces ahead. They're up by 11. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. It's been a one-sided affair through the first two quarters, but there is plenty of time to mount a comeback. I mean, good, solid game by Hamby. He played a very smart game offensively, looking for and finding gaps in the defense and always looking for the best shot possible. Yeah, the way she played that first half, well, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient on offense. Welcome back. 
third quarter just about to get going in what has been a runaway of a game so far. Here's Allen. The 10-footer. Count that one. What handles. She broke the defense down to the ground with that move. Now here's Diggin Smith. Not a lot of room. No coverage that time. These defenders better start closing down their shooters. Yeah, that's too straight from long range. Here's Allen, guarded by Diggin Smith. Here's McBride, and Brittany Griner with the block. Out to the left wing. Pass to Coffey. Reiner, shot clock at six. Over McBride. Reiner, no good. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Here's Allen. She has five. Pass to McCautry. Ball's knocked loose from deep. But they'll get another chance. one on Diggin Smith. An unpredictable creator with a variety of moves. McBride thrives on getting to the line. While some might call McBride her team's vocal and emotional leader as she really knows how to fire up her squad and her teammates really have no problem rallying behind her. And she knocks down the first one. Yeah, and speaking of McBride's impact, she just makes those around her better. Yeah, her scoring ability opens up the floor for the rest of her team, creates good looks for others because of all the attention on her. That's also good, so she hits them both. Here's Tarasi. 12 points for her. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Count it. You know, she shot the ball well, but it hasn't been contagious. Pass to McBride. And here is Wilson. The 17-footer misses off the right iron. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a hard time getting it going. Tarasi's shot is off. To the middle. Allen, good, and the assist goes to Angel McCautry. Yeah, such an asset on the offensive end. And McCautry's leadership drives her to make the right play. Score the basket. It's number six for her this game. Six for nine, and that's 67% shooting. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Wilson on the wing, Kayla McBride. Fires for three. Mercury with the rebound. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. For a player that shoots it as well as she does, I'd say that is an easy look. Now here's McBride. She has seven. <laughs> Rebounded by Coffey. Up top, Diggin Smith. Pass to Tarasi. Turner. Over McCautry. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Here's Allen. Now Swords, guarded by Diggin Smith. McCautry buried from 15 feet out. Well, skill-wise, McCautry is simply on a different level. And she Come understands the nuances of the game and uses that to her advantage. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. Thinking of the best offensive player in the league, McCautry has to come to mind. She led the WNBA scoring in back to back seasons.
so here's Phoenix. A 12-point game. Back to Tarasi. Fires the three. The shot, no good. And Las Vegas the other way now. 17 points was their biggest margin. And on top of Angel's scoring ability, her effort on the glass has always impressed me. Me too, Blake. She's never lacking energy or enthusiasm when rebounding the rock. And rebounding is an effort game, and Angel understands that. Those second chance points, they're just like bonus points if you can get them. Pass to McBride. Looking to get it going. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. It's been that kind of a game for her, but look, the team is still winning, so keep your head up and just try to move on and be better from this. And she's having a quarter, converting at a high percentage. Here's Young. She has six. Pass to Rogers. McBride. He's covered by Tarasi. Here's Wilson. That falls. Great assist by Kayla McBride. Understanding defense is better than most. McBride's a playmaker with an advanced feel for the game. Now here's Tarasi. She's got 19. The Mercury with another miss. Side Young. Shoots over Hartley. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Poked away. And stolen by Asia Wilson. Here's Young. Mercury with the rebound. Hartley with it. Now Young defending. Rejected by Jackie Young. Shooting two. Teams deciding to change it up. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Robinson. Pass to Hamby. And it's Cunningham with the rebound. Well, got it in close, but credit the tight defense for forcing the miss. Defense like that ups the degree of difficulty on that shot by about what? Uh, I'd say 300%? 308% maybe. Okay, I like that. Now here is Robinson. McBride outside. Shot clock at five. And another miss by Las Vegas. Not only is the game neck and neck, but the rebounding battle is too. Very tight game on the boards. Yeah, both teams have put in a terrific effort down low. Here's Walker Kimbrough. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. The fadeaway. It's hauled in by the Aces. Right side, Robinson. Side Young. Good. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today, and really without her, they might not have the lead right now. Hartley outside. Here's Vaughn. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's 
it's on to Erica Hamley. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Even though they're down, they're putting on a show at the free throw line this half. Man, they're making the most of their opportunities at the charity stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. And she can't hit the second. The Aces with the lead. Here's Young. Robinson. Outside Young. And the ball out of play. The Mercury will have it. outside pass to Cunningham Hartley she's covered by Hamby back to Hartley clock at six the tray here's Turner Hartley tips it back in a great offensive rebounder because of her awareness and effort I'm impressed with Turner Pass to Young. Robinson with the ball. Now McBride. Puts the fade away right on the money. Yeah, a reliable and trustworthy scorer. McBride works hard to break down defenses game in and game out. Now here's Griner. Shoots on the block. Got her with the pump fake. Just couldn't finish. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Aces on top, up six. And after a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. In a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This definitely deserves the prize. She read the defense like a point guard and put that pass right on the money. That's just some real versatility coming from her. Not something that the majority of them possess. Okay, fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one with both sides coming to play so far. Now here's Hartley. Here's Cunningham. And she banks in the layup. Plays with lots of movement offensively. Great from the perimeter, but also capable of doing damage inside. Here's Young. Inside, McBride. That's in, coming off an assist from Jackie Young. Moving it around, eight of the last 10 points coming off assists. Nothing makes a coach happier than a display of pure, selfless teamwork. Absolutely. Turner, she's covered by Hamby. To the inside. And out of bounds, the Aces will take it. Yeah, that pass hit the catcher off guard and it simply flanked off of Hamby. Fourth quarter of basketball, we're about one minute into it. Pass to Allen. Lays it up and banks it in. Yeah, late reaction for the defense. She's always going to convert that. Hartley outside. Here's Cunningham. Back to Hartley. Griner. And that one's good. Yeah, seeing over defenders contributes to Griner's dominance down low. He's just lethal around the rim. Now here's Swords. Outside Robinson. Down low. Swords gets the bucket. Ran her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Phoenix trailing here. 
Now a timeout called by Phoenix. Hartley to the middle. Carolyn Swords with the block. Here's Allen. She's guarded by Hartley. Here's Robinson. The rebound by Brittany Griner. Not her best game, but they're getting it done collectively. For those joining us, fourth quarter here, and we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hartley. It's hauled in by the Aces. 17 points was their biggest margin. Now here's McCautry. D right on her. Pass to Allen. And as the shot clock expires, 24 second violation. With Mercury making a switch here. Here's Turner. Pass to Coffee. Here's Griner. And they pick up two. Just an incredible display of athleticism. Now, Griner's active on both ends of the floor, and her coaches appreciate that. Now, here's McCaudry. And the foul called on Griner. That's her third foul of the game. we played just over three and a half minutes now in this fourth quarter. Six to shoot. Pass to Wilson. Unable to get that one to go. Now Phoenix takes it the other way. The drive by Diana Taurasi. Diana Taurasi is doubled. Outside, Diggins Smith. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, officials saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. With great balance and body control, Diggins Smith isn't easy to defend. She really makes defenders work on that end of the floor. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. You know, I'd say Skyler is one of the more unselfish players in the league. She's constantly looking to make plays for others. She hits both from the strike. And you talk about a great teammate. Does it get any better than Diggins Smith? Well, her teammates certainly have a lot of trust in her. They know she's looking to make the right play. Some might say she's the heartbeat of the team. Now here is McCautry. Back to Wilson. Robinson tries a three. They get it back. The stuff by Karasi. She's a big point guard at six feet. Strong game on that front, without question. 
putting her sweet tooth to good use. McCautry opened an ice cream shop in Atlanta a few years ago. Pretty cool, huh? I continue to be impressed with McCautry's defense. Now, she moves her feet well to stay in front of opponents, and with her active hands, she's able to make a lot of steals. The first one falls. And thinking of Angel McCautry, she's got to be considered one of the best two-way players in the league, yeah, no, right? No doubt, Blake. Her defense is great. But uh, McCautry's offense always has to be accounted for as well. Such an expansive skill set. She's no easy cover. Two words to describe her. Difference maker. Impeccable from the line since halftime. They've yet to miss, so yeah, you really can't do any better. Pass to Griner. Diana Taurasi on the wing. And a foul on swords. That's her first foul of the game. And the Aces making a change here. Outside, Diggin Smith. Out to Tarasi. Just five to shoot. Here's Greiner. The rebound by Swords. The Aces leading. And Allen gets it to go. Now Diggin Smith. Pass to Coffey. Greiner. Diana Tarasi on the wing. to Griner. Fires at the elbow. And the jumper is on the mark. She's shaking off that slow start and giving them a boost here in the second half. Pass to Swords. McCautry outside. To the inside. Foul called that time on the way up. And that will give her two chances at the free throw line. If you don't stay grounded when defending an intelligent scorer like Wilson, she'll make you pay eight out of seven days a week. And looking at Wilson's rookie campaign, what a year she had. Unanimously won the WNBA's Rookie of the Year award and was even named an All-Star. And she makes the first. Well, we know Wilson started her WNBA career with a bang, but she's determined to go even higher. Absolutely. She has the work ethic and skill set to dominate this league for years. She might be the face of the WNBA before you know it. She makes one of two that time. Number one picks in the draft face a lot of pressure, but Wilson is laser focused and has remained composed. Sharp pass to set up the very high percentage shot in close. Now here is McBride. Out to the right wing. Here's Allen. Pass to Swords. McCautry. The rebound by Brittany Griner. The Mercury Trail. And here's Diana Tarasi from the arc. This is a critical possession. Not one they can afford to come empty on. There's the double team with Griner. They're tussling ball, for it, and it looks like a you jump can... ball. And so here's Phoenix. Outside, Diggin Smith. Pass to Turner. Coffee. Five to shoot. And here's Diana Taurasi from the arc. And she's good on the three ball. Another huge shoot from Taurasi. No one has made more big baskets in league history. And the Aces call time here.
And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, De'Erica Hamby. Well, she's making like every shot, right? That's what it feels like. She's been unfazed by anything the defense has thrown at her. Such an advantage to this offense to have someone so reliable. And they're holding on to the slimmest of leads. And they can't afford to let it get any slimmer. To the paint. Nick oh! ride. Count the basket and the foul. And it's on Diana Taurasi. She's the vocal and emotional leader of the team. McBride's squad is in good hands when she has the basketball. And it's the Mercury with the ball. Trailing by four. Pass to Griner. Outside, Diggins Smith. Diana Taurasi on the wing. Back to Diggins Smith. Now here's Griner. The long three. Asia Wilson grabs the board. Closing down on leads is done by making smart plays on offense and taking care of the rock. It's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that one. The floater, the putback, and it's Brittany Griner with the rebound. Outside, Diggins Smith. Makes it off the glass. That's what elite playmakers like Diggins Smith do. You know, she's an evolving player that's defended with They grab their own miss, and it's blocked by Brittany Griner. Inside. It's in! A huge shot to tie it up. With so much big game experience, Griner knows exactly what to do in critical game situations. Now here's McCautry. McBride left side, takes it out to McCautry. Allen and a foul on swords. That's her fourth foul of the contest. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. and then get back to the action. basketball pans out. It'll be the Mercury off the tip. And away we go here with a post-regulation basketball. Tarasi outside. Just five on the clock. Pass to Griner. Diggins Smith. That's good. And so Brittany Griner gets the assist. You talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. 
Well, they never hung their heads, even when they were down big earlier. They were really composed, never got desperate, and credit the coach for keeping them in it. Exactly. Stay with your game plan. Now here's Tarasi. Here's Turner. Not going to go that time. Great knee that time from Carolyn Swords. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a buck. To the middle. Intercepted. Pass to Turner. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. Carolyn Swords picks one up. Not afraid to challenge defenders. Turner plays with confidence and composure. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. After suffering a torn ACL in college, I'm excited to see what Turner has in store for her WNBA career. second free throw good well she did enough there she made it a two possession game at least pass to swords McCautry here's Allen back to McCautry elbow shot and it's Phoenix with the rebound some of the shots she's taken today have been absolute head scratchers. She's out there playing like it's a game of horse, and it's not. Oh, man, she is so good at making those lead passes. Here's Allen. Pass to McCautry. Diana Taurasi grabs the miss. Phoenix leading. Here's Diggin Smith. That one falls through. It's her six make from the floor this game, and now six for ten. Consistently carrying a solid workload, Diggin Smith has proven her ability to succeed at this level. McCautry outside. Pass to McBride. Shot to stop the run. Diana Taurasi grabs the miss. Well, good defense in the paint. Worth its weight. Goal. It absolutely is. And you just saw it right there. It means without her presence, that's an easy two points. Stolen away. Pass to Diggins Smith. Over to the left wing. Now here's Tarasi, covered by McCautry. Takes the three, and the Mercury, another three. Might as well tack a few more points in the lead, I suppose. This is going to be a dominant win for them. Dominant is the right word for it, Tim. This one was about as one-sided as it gets. One-way traffic, jeez. She has slipped into a real funk here. Definitely. The basket is not looking very big to her at this point. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now thanks to the spurt that they're having. And why put on the brakes now, Tim? I say just keep on firing. Man, Brian, you want to run up the score? And it's Phoenix with the rebound. It's going to be a tough loss to swallow. They just didn't have much gas left in the tank once we hit overtime. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride, boys. I mean, thought it might end in regulation, but they came through big and did exactly what they needed to once we got to overtime. And that'll wrap it up.